Hello again, everyone, and welcome back for the April 2024 Sky Report. My name is Vanessa, and I will be your Sky Guide again this month. To start off the month of April, we have a unique event. The moon will be lower in the sky than the winter solstice sun. That's at negative 28.5 degrees. This is the moon's greatest southern declination for the month, and it's even lower than it would typically be due to the relationship between the moon's and the Earth's orbit. This only happens every 18 years, but the apparitions of extreme southerly and northerly moons stick around for a couple of years before returning to their typical declinations. This is called the Great Lunar Standstill. Skipping to halfway through the month, but related to the first event, the moon will travel to its northernmost declination. This means the moon will be higher up in the sky than the summer solstice sun. On April 13th, it will be at a declination of almost 28.5 degrees, which is 5 degrees more than the summer solstice sun. At transit time, the sun will still be out, but the moon will be visible almost directly above in the sky. These events will continue to happen through 2025, and then we won't see them again for another 18 years, so don't miss the chance to observe and enjoy this one. On April 8th, here in LA, there will be a partial solar eclipse. About 48% of the sun will be covered by the moon for observers here. Remember to not observe the sun without proper eye protection. The eclipse will begin at 10.06 a.m., maximum eclipse will be at 11.12 a.m., and it will end at 12.22 p.m. This will be a total eclipse for the places along the path seen here in this map. If you want to watch the total eclipse without traveling, be sure to watch our live broadcast on YouTube, where we will be streaming from the Path of Totality in Texas. And moving on to other types of events, on April 10th, Saturn and Mars will appear less than half a degree apart from each other. Wake up early to watch them rise in the east. They will be close enough together to see them together in a telescope with low power and with binoculars. April 10th is when they are at their closest, but from April 5th through April 12th, you'll be able to track their movement as they slip past each other in the sky. Just wake up every morning at 5.45 and look towards the east. And our last major event is the Lyrid Meteor Shower. The Lyrid Meteor Shower peaks early in the morning of April 22nd. However, the nearly full moon will disrupt viewing for the entire night, so this is not the meteor shower to travel to a dark sky for. And here is your lunar calendar for the month. The last quarter is on the 1st, the new moon is on the 8th, the first quarter is on the 15th, and the full moon is on the 23rd. That's all I have for April, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next month. Bye!